Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Megan if you are new here and I'm about to share something life-changing with you. So if you've been around my channel for a while or even if you haven't, you can scroll back and look and find that I've spent my last almost four years now on YouTube desperately trying to organize my very small home and specifically my very small kitchen. And I know every time I say that I have a small kitchen, there's going to be somebody who has one that's smaller and that's all right it's not a competition but my kitchen does feel small for the space that we're in and also the season of life that I'm in and the size of my family I am a married mama of two we have two adults two children living in this house and two pups so our space can get cramped very easily and especially trying to prepare meals for my family in the kitchen it can feel very frustrating or at least in the past Past. It has been very frustrating. So I've spent a lot of time and a lot of money on failed organization systems, but I finally figured it out and I want to share that with any of you who may be in the same position where you're struggling with your kitchen, it doesn't seem as functional as it could be or as organized as it could be, and it's a source of stress and anxiety for you rather than an enjoyable, comfortable living space in your home. So if that sounds like something you are looking for, give this video a thumbs up and just stick around a little longer I'm gonna take you on a little tour and as I start showing you my kitchen you will see what I'm talking about we have an L-shaped kitchen with limited countertop space and also limited cabinet storage unfortunately whoever lived in this house previously and renovated this kitchen used base cabinets that they kind of just Tetris together by base cabinets I mean in stock cabinets at a local hardware store that they could buy off of the shelf and try to make it fit into the space instead of measuring the space and finding out how to maximize what is available so we ended up with this l-shaped kitchen that has about three bottom cabinets and four upper cabinets we also have a couple of drawers where we keep our silverware and some cooking utensils. Both of these are more narrow than a standard size. So as I pull them out, you'll see that, especially in like our silverware drawer, it is not even wide enough to fit an average sized silverware organizer. So I have had to get so creative in how to maximize on the limited storage that I have available in this kitchen. And I hit the jackpot. I found the best organization on the market, the best cookware and bakeware sets that I can bring into my home in order to minimize on the amount of stuff that I have to organize and maximize on the amount of space that I have to contain all of my most used kitchen items. So I'm gonna share all of that with you today. A huge thank you to Caraway Home for partnering with me on today's video and I will have a 10% discount link for you that you can find out in the description box. If you see anything in this video that you feel like you have to have and I'm very sure it's going to be all of it, you can use that link to shop site-wide and save 10% off. So I'm going to start taking you through a tour of my most well-organized spaces and what I like about them. It truly used to be a nightmare trying to find and store all of my pots and pans. It was so stressful cooking and especially so stressful doing dishes because once everything was clean, I would have to put it away and it was such a strong source of anxiety for me because I felt like I didn't have enough storage for the things that I had that I would often put off doing the dishes and or put off putting them away and so I was constantly having a mountain of dry pots and pans just sitting on a drying mat on my kitchen counters which because we do have limited counter space was really crippling to me because I just didn't have enough space to be able to prepare food. So now having this new organization system with Caraway, having the exact number of pots and pans that I need and not trying to store an excess of items in a small cabinet or storage area, it's been a complete game changer and I've been totally in love with it. I switched to Caraway almost a year ago now, it was last spring, and I have never looked back. The quality of these pieces are amazing. They have held up so 
well. I've enjoyed taking care of them and they've just completely changed my feelings and my outlook on my kitchen. Now when I switched over to the Caraway cookware, I also went all in and got the bakeware set as well. I was so tired of trying to figure out how to store all of my baking dishes, casserole dishes, cookie sheets, wire racks. It was literally impossible. What ended up happening is that I did not have enough cabinet space and so I had to store those items inside of my oven. So every time I wanted to use my oven, I had to take it all out, put it up on the counters, take up all of my counter space, and then put it all back in after the oven had cooled down. It was a headache to say the least. Is it doable? Of course. Was it ideal? Absolutely not. And I'm so glad that I took the leap and got the Caraway Bakeware set as well. Let me show you the organizers that come with this. Absolute game changers. You will not believe how much bakeware I can fit into this super narrow cabinet. So I keep all of my caraway bakeware in the cabinet in between my stove and my refrigerator. That's just what works best for me and it's a narrow cabinet but it, it has a lot of vertical space that was unused. So what this organizer does is keep everything in line but also standing upright and then that leaves me enough space on either side of them to also be able to store my large griddle and all of my cutting boards. So this narrow cabinet that was almost not functional at all at one point and I could not figure out what to store in it now houses all of my bakeware, my griddle, and my cutting boards and I can't believe that that happened. I do not know a single type of organizer that I could order from any other store that would work this well. Now when I ordered my cookware and bakeware sets, they were the only products available on the Caraway website. You could purchase individual pots and pans, individual baking sheets, cooking sheets, or casserole dishes, or you can purchase everything as a set. But just in the last year, they have added so many more products trying to serve their customers as best as they can and I am absolutely in love with all of them. There's been a tea kettle launch, mini frying pans and saucepans to complement the full cookware set, and my personal favorite, a food storage set. I'm literally getting chills and I'm so excited just thinking about showing this to you. It has been my most recent order from Caraway and it did not disappoint. It features the same kind of magnetic organizing system as the cookware in that fabric material like the bakeware. So it's the best of both worlds. It fits into my stock standard size cabinet that does not have adjustable shelves, which was absolutely shocking to me because there is almost no room in those cabinets. There's so many different pieces in this food storage set that literally work for anything you could think of. Storing leftovers, packing a lunch bag, there's little sauce and side pieces that you could fit into one of the larger pieces if you're looking to pack a nice salad and want to keep your dressing separate. Or what I like to use those smaller containers for is storing our specialty cheeses. We make a lot of charcuterie boards in this household and we really love soft cheeses, but they can be difficult to store because the packaging that they come in isn't resealable. So I have found these caraway food storage containers to be perfect for that. They fit into my fridge beautifully and they keep them so fresh so I no longer have to worry about trying to use up an entire brick of cheese on just one charcuterie board. I'm able to save money and make my ingredients stretch further. Another thing that I love about the food storage set and about all of the caraway cookware in general is that there is a ceramic, non-toxic, non-stick coating inside all of these pieces, the cookware, the bakeware, and the food storage. So you're able to cook your food or heat your food on lower temperature settings. It conducts heat a lot better. It's non-toxic, so you don't have to worry about any chemicals seeping into your food or anything flaking off and getting into your food. And I love that the material and the aesthetic is uniform across the board. So you can introduce something beautiful into your space that's functional and safe 
made for your family, it literally doesn't get any better than that. While that ceramic, non-toxic, non-stick coating is an absolute game changer in my opinion, it absolutely elevates the quality of the product. It is something that needs to be cared for properly. And it's so important to me to share a fully transparent, well-rounded review with you because I do know that these are investment pieces and I want you to be investing wisely. So it's very important for me to talk to you about how to care for your cookware to get longevity out of it and keep it in that perfect like new condition. I do have a comparison to show you and a little bit of a backstory to tell. So when I had originally ordered my cookware set, it comes with two different frying pans and my husband used the larger one on the second day that we had the cookware set and he ruined it immediately by not caring for it properly. So I did reach out to the Caraway customer service and they so graciously immediately sent out a replacement which I was not expecting at all but they really pulled through their customer service is amazing and that also afforded me the opportunity to show what these pieces in comparison can look like after one year of taking care of them versus one year of not taking care of them properly so with your caraway cookware bakeware food storage any of these caraway products you want to to make sure that you are using the correct burners, the correct temperature, and the correct oven temperatures. Everything has a pamphlet that tells you the exact temperatures that they can withstand and how to care for them so you don't have to memorize it all from this video. Instructions and care cards are included with every single order. But you want to make sure you're using the appropriate size burner so that you don't burn the ceramic on the outside or bubble up any of the coating at all. When you are cleaning them, you also want to make sure that you are using a gentle, mild soap and no abrasive scrubbing pads because if you do, you will damage that nonstick coating. So I'm just going to show you the comparison of my frying pan versus my husband's frying pan. And yes, it is Derek's now. It is designated to him. It is the only one that he uses and he uses it every single day. The damage to his frying pan has not compromised the taste of the food at all or the way that the pan conducts heat or cooks the food in general but it definitely has impacted the aesthetic and it has become more difficult to clean because it is affecting that non-stick coating so caring for it aside from just keeping it with a brand new look also does keep it in brand new working condition so that for years to come it feels the same as the very first time you fried an egg on it so i thought it would be fun to show you a little b-roll of using my caraway cookware so you can see that ceramic non-stick coating in action when I say non-stick you guys are not going to believe it. I didn't even believe it the first time I used it. I've tried other nonstick and Teflon products in the past and they have never worked this well. The cook time is amazing. The taste of the food is cleaner than anything that I have ever prepared in my home before and the cleanup is a breeze.
So anyway, I hope that this helped some of you out there who may be struggling with your small space and your small kitchen in particular. I know I went through a lot of trial and error, years of disappointment and frustration before I finally found this, and I'm happy to have the opportunity to cut out all that frustration for you and just tell you what works, and what works is Caraway. So thank you so much to Caraway once again for partnering with me on today's video. If you did enjoy this little kitchen organization tour, the tips and tricks, the Caraway cookware review, definitely give this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite product that I showed today. If you would like to see the rest of my kitchen organization, maybe have a full organization tour, then let me know that too. I would love to film that with you and show you some of the other spaces where I figured out the best organization to make them as functional as possible. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and I'll see you all in the next one.